Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSA. In this video, we are going to discuss about sequences with timing relationship. Sequences with timing relationship. So in this sequence, if we have two variables, one minute. So let's say if we have two variables, let's say it is variable one and this is variable two. Let's say if we have two variables, variable one and variable two, uh, let's say if variable 1 becomes high at let's say third clock edge, if variable 1 becomes high at third clock edge, next after two clock edges, your variable 2 should, should become high, that is in the fifth clock cycle, your variable 2 should become high. Then the particular assertion should get passed or else it should get failed. So if we have timing relationships like this, if we have timing relationship between the two variables or between the different complex sequences, then we can we are going to deal with the hash symbol. So we are going to represent this particular delays with two hashes. Once again, I will repeat this particular example. If we have two variables, variable one and variable two, and if we want to establish a timing relationship between these two variables, that is if variable one becomes high at the third clock edge, then variable two should become high at the fifth clock edge. If it is not becoming high, it will become, a session will get failed but if it is getting high, the session will get passed. So to create this particular timing relationship, we will use hash hash symbol. Okay. So we are going to use this particular symbol hash hash for representing the delays. Okay. So let's see how to construct this particular sequence. So the syntax is same. We are going to write the sequence followed by sequence name. Let's say sequence underscore example. Let's say sequence underscore example. And in this sequence underscore example, what we are going to write is we have two variables. So this is variable one hash hash two variable two. That is if variable one becomes high, if variable one becomes high, then after two clock cycles, my variable two should become high. But if variable one is false, then the assertion is going to fail it there itself. Okay. And here end sequence. And in the property, in this property, let's say the property name is PPT, we are going to include this sequence, sequence underscore example and end this property, end property. Now, so we are simply going to write assert property, we are going to write assert property PPT. And here the sequence should, uh, the sequence timing relationship should be performed at passage of clock. That's it. So let us try to understand this particular thing with the help of your waveforms. So this is your clock signal. So this is your clock signal and at positive edges of the clock, this particular assertion checking is happening. So these are your positive edges of the clock. Now, so uh, let's say this is your uh, this is your clock and this is your variable one. So let's say this is your variable one is becoming high somewhere here and it is becoming low somewhere here. Okay, and let's say this is variable number two. So let's say it is becoming high here. Okay. So at this first clock edge, your assertion will get failed. And then in the second clock edge, since variable one is low, here also it is going to fail. And at the third clock edge, your assertion checking is going to start. Here, the assertion checking is going to start. Sorry, uh, it is also going to fail here because the variable one value is equal to zero. So here also it is going to fail. But in the fourth clock cycle, it is going to start. The checking is going to start because your value of var1 is equal to 1 so it is going to start the checking is going to start here now at the fifth clock cycle one cycle has been finished and in the sixth clock cycle fifth clock cycle followed by sixth clock cycle it is going to check for the va value of variable 2 the value of variable 2 now here it is equal to high 1 so your assertion is going to pass here okay the first checking which has been started here is going to get passed here and if you observe carefully at the fifth clock edge also your variable one is high 
var1 was high okay so in here the second checking will start okay since the value of variable 1 was high here the second checking will start and the sixth clock cycle seventh clock cycle so after two clock cycles it will go it is going to check for the value of variable 2 so here also it is going it is high so that's why your assertion is going to get passed here so this is how you are going to establish a timing relationship between multiple variables inside an sequence so that's all about this particular video so if you like this particular video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have any doubts you can just comment thank you